Aubrey and Matt planned a summer family holiday to Noosa in January 2022. Aubrey's friends told her that they were hopeful this would be it. She had almost resigned herself to Matt never popping the question. After all, they had a beautiful daughter Darcy who ruled their lives. Who needs a marriage when a baby says forever? Little did she know, Matt had been taking secret Zoom meetings, designing a ring. Matt, Aubrey and Darcy headed over to the main beach to watch the sunset. What happened next is a little fuzzy. A question was asked, answered and sealed with a kiss. Oh, hi. Do you like? Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a kiss too? Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. It was quite ironic because the celebrant talked about what a beautiful proposal it was and I was like, that's not how it happened. <laughs> that's not how it happened at all. Who knew that 14 years ago in short story class that we would be standing here today? They were tasked with introducing each other to the class. A friendship formed over the next few years. Oh, hi. Nice to see you here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can still remember the moment I realised I liked you more than a friend. It was at Pancake Power Northland, our last lunch together before you went on exchange. Oh, you're still there. Oh. Matt moved to the USA on exchange. They kept in touch. And on Valentine's Day 2011, a single rose appeared on Aubrey's doorstep. Finally, reunited in Melbourne, they were again to be separated, with Matt taking a job up in Kalgoorlie, WA. We used to walk through every morning. Yes. It's on the way to work. We used to walk on that, that path, across the road, past JFK. Aubrey knew she had a choice. Express her feelings to Matt before he left, or perhaps not say anything at all. Thankfully, she told Matt she liked him, and the feeling was mutual. Their relationship began. Who is that? Ash Klein? <gasps> Who is this man? What are you doing here? I'm a work colleague and I was literally just driving on and I thought, that looks like you two getting married. <laughs> I need a photo for the group. Okay, you can have one photo. Can you pretend that you're invited? Stop. Please? <laughs> can I just like how you jumped out from behind a bush? During a trip to Kalgoorlie, Aubrey told Matt she loved him for the very first time. It was then Matt told Aubrey she was the one he wanted to marry. We just taped my very fabulous. I'm just doing it really slowly. I haven't done this in a while. It's about to go. Redmond! Redmond! Wait, it's almost done. Aubrey is the best sister I have. In fact, she's the only sister I have. Kyle! Come down! Come down the aisle! Apparently, I begged my mum for a sister, except during the trial period I realised there was a no returns policy and I was forced to share my room with her. You look so beautiful. It's just funny because growing up, Redmond and I were the ones that people used to say, oh, you guys are related, you must be twins. Nobody ever said that about me and Aubrey because of her beautiful blue eyes and blonde hair, which I'm very envious of. Down. You're too tall. Wow. Ash. It's Now, I've known Matt for about eight years, and you could say that our friendship was probably forged in fire. There's a lot going on there. It's good to be with you. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. He was the very talented political media advisor who could spin his way out of everything. I was relegated to the role of sidekick. Actually, I forgot how hard it is to tie with Biggie because you can't and your hair gets caught. Now, let me tell you this. If you want to be best friends with someone, if you want to really get to know someone, cleaning their beard in a public urinal in regional Victoria, that's when you get to really know them there. So you look, you look. Now, for those of you not aware, Matt is considered somewhat of a media expert. I've seen him plan events down to the minutia. Matt ensured that he brought the same skill and finesse to his proposal to all. Let me rewind the clock back a moment to a time due to various restrictions where you couldn't enter a jewelry shop. Matt sourced from the jewelry shop a sizing chart. Now, the idea here is that you would print it out, print, and you would compare it to a ring of home. That's not what Matt did. Matt figured it would be easier to just blow up the image on his phone. 
and guess by looking at his own fingers. The ring was quite literally swinging on Aubrey's fingers. Don't stress, they fixed it. They had to start again from scratch. They had to mellow ours down. Aubrey and Matt will now exchange rings and vows as a symbol of their love and commitment to one another. Could you please have Ash with the rings? <laughs> You guys didn't have to capture that, did you? So many of you saw me drop the ring box at the ceremony. If you are wondering, it was captured by the videographers and they have assured me that they can get it in slow-mo and I'm sure it'll be available for everyone straight after this. All of the people here make up a huge part of who we are as a couple and how we survive our life. So thank you everyone for coming. Can I give everyone a round of applause for everyone for coming? Thank you. Yeah, let's party! Woo! We can, uh, what do we do here? There you go. I don't know where to put my other hand. Just Have an ASR. Yeah. No! <laughs> Just being with you. Aubrey, I think we both agree that today it's has been a very, very long time coming. Matthew, Darcy and I will always be there on the sidelines cheering you on. So today isn't about Darcy, but she showcases so much about why we are the perfect match. You're my best friend, my confidant, my conciliary, my baby daddy, and we make a great team. You're caring, you're the most beautiful person I know, and you always put others first, and I love that about you. Matthew, I love you. I love you. I know that there's no one else I'd rather spend the rest of my life with. At last, let's get married. It is with great happiness I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss. Some of the loves me. Is that it? Before oh. Yay! They ever can begin. But ours will never die as long as you are here with me. Made it through. It was close. It was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You know my heart is always true. Just being with you.